Welcome back to the Green Means Go channel. It's your host, me. This will be the third time I've recorded this today because I'm flustered. And I try to walk through this and every time I work myself up, I wear my emotions on my sleeve. I am a fairly emotional human being. Um, and I have to vocalize and think through and process things. I don't, I don't do well at suppressing things. So the short of this drama this morning is that I post my threes day stuff on Reddit. I also post my dinger Tuesday stuff on Reddit and I do so to help people out. Okay. I also do so to help promote this channel. I quit my job, um, teaching and I want to do this full time because I love this. I love talking about sports. I love trying to help sports betters make better decisions. Um, and my approach is different than some because I'm not a strictly plus EV, you know, play the math guy. All right. And, and, and when you, when you start talking about making money to some of these people who are, the waters get kind of muddied and, um, that's what you'll kind of see here. So last week I said that I liked Yoshida for Boston. Yoshida did not start. So I tweeted out that I was going Ramirez instead in that situation. I would always recommend playing the pivot and risking the pinch hit play. That's just how I do it. Okay. Um, I got called out by a guy who's very popular on Reddit, who's often on Reddit. And he said, last week you had Yoshida. I know you couldn't cash out because they locked the lines. You subbed for Ramirez, but you're still counting Ramirez as a win, even though Yoshida pinch hit and that pick was still live if you had made it. He's right. Okay. I did still count Ramirez as a win because I had tweeted out that I was pivoting to Ramirez. Okay. So in my sheet, I marked it as a $50 loss, 25 for Yoshida who pinch hit and 25 for Ramirez, but I also counted it as a win because Ramirez pinch hit, or sorry, Ramirez started and hit a home run. Okay. So that's what happened. Um, and he's saying that I'm trying to sugarcoat the lines and say that I had Ramirez the whole time when I actually had Yoshida. That was not my intention at all. Okay. Um, and I kind of clarified that in this comment. Now, another guy, Port Chop, popular on Reddit. Um, you know, kind of uh, tag teamed his comment and said, oh, I'm not surprised. Green Means Go is handicapping these games and he's also sugarcoating his wins like a handicapper would. Again, guys, I hope my reputation precedes me. I have made multiple comments on this channel on Reddit that I am not trying to be the traditional handicapper. I'm not charging for picks. I will never charge for picks. Do you have to watch a 10 minute video for my picks sometimes? Yes. Um, do I think I still add value outside of my picks in those videos? Yes. All right. So, um, you know, Port Chop is a big EV guy and that's fine. I've made comments about plus EV on this channel in the past. It's not something I do. I take the EV from the promo and then handicap it. Whereas he's saying, just take the EV approach. Um, you know, I, I still think that the EV guys in some ways are are likened or, or, or comparable to handicappers in that they still tout, they still try to show off their wins and brag about their wins and, and talk about their wins. Um, he's made thousands, six figures from EV betting and that's fine. Uh, that's great. Um, I just think that I am, I, I am trying to do my own thing on this channel and, um, kind of merge the handicapping and EV space which I've mentioned before. And so that's the, that's the intention of green means go. Um, and so I hope that I have shown honesty and transparency on this channel. Um, I don't like being accused of trying to do something that I have taken a public stand against that frustrates me. Um, so I hope there are people out there who understand that my intention was not to deceive anyone or to be this, you know, capper that, that lies. That's not my, uh, my intention. Um, I'm also not someone who's just going to flat out play EV lines. Okay. Let's make some, let's make some picks for today's threes day, which I hate. I hate this promo. I don't even think this promo is that EV. I don't like the variance of it. Okay. But a lot of people are going to bet it anyway. So I'm going to give you the data that I can. If you don't like it, go somewhere else. Uh, Philly, New York, Orlando, Cleveland, Indy, and Milwaukee are your games tonight. Uh, I think the game in New York and the game in Milwaukee are probably the best to target. Orlando and Cleveland didn't hit a three until the second quarter last game, uh, just struggling to score points. The total, I think, is like about 200. So not maybe the best game in terms of value for the promotion. 
If we look at Philadelphia, obviously Maxi leads the way. Lowry is not far behind. Ubre is questionable tonight with a migraine, I think. Tobias Harris is interesting at 11 to 1, sitting with seven first threes attempted. For New York, you see DiVincenzo, who, excuse me, has 11 first threes, and Brunson. Their odds are reflective of that. Um, if you want I mean, value, Tobias Harris, Josh Hart, and Kyle Lowry are probably your value guys. OG Ananobi has been hurt, but um, small sample size here. He did shoot last game and hit last game. So nine to one may be worth a look. Um, I don't have a lean for this one because I'm still flustered. I'm still flustered. Um, sorry. I don't know. Uh, if I had to play anybody in this game, I might skip it because I think there's a better game in Milwaukee. Uh, free bet wise though, maybe Tobias Harris, maybe Josh Hart, maybe Kyle Lowry. Um have fun with that one. Orlando and Cleveland, again, not a game that I expect a ton of uh, free bets for. If you look here, Bancaro has shot eight and made zero. Um, Suggs, 13. Wendell Carter at 12 to one has shot 11, which is the second most on the team. I had Gary Harris last week. He shot three first before Franz finally made it, which is super annoying. Um, as for Cleveland, Struess and uh, Garland, are the two be uh, best. Mitchell has been hurt, so his uh, numbers are a little bit lower. This game, I think Wendell Carter is definitely worth a free bet. Maybe Bancaro, even if he, if you believe he's due. Suggs, not a bad spot at 5-1. to one. I think your best game of the night, though, is Indy and Milwaukee. However, this one's weird because Lillard is doubtful, so there goes a decent amount of three volume. Giannis is doubtful. Uh, Turner had just a Hall of Fame game last game, seven threes, I think he hit. The Pacers hit 25 threes last game alone. So if you expect them to redo that, which is pretty unlikely, um, this is the game I would play. I think Nimbard and Neesmith have both become really comfortable in this offense in the playoffs shooting the three. And because of that, I think their lines are too generous. So there's my pick. I know that they're not reflective of that here, which is more of a whole season look. If I had to make a play on this game, I would say that Neesmith and Nimbard are worth a look because of their comfortability with this offense in the playoffs. Bobby Portis, also a guy who's going to need a lot of volume given that uh, the two stars are out. He got ejected last game early, so maybe he comes out hot and ready to play. Worth maybe a free bet. Um this is the game I would play. I think Brooke Lopez at 6-1 to one is a good price. I think Middleton at 7-1 to one is a good price. Uh, Halliburton likes to start off games slow. He likes to pass first. So I don't love him at 3-1. to one. I think anybody Turner and below is a pretty solid bet. So that's what I got today, guys. I'm sorry. It's, it's like teaching, okay? It's like teaching. I could have a great day. I could have 50 students who appreciated the lesson, who appreciated the content, and one student who vocalized uh, criticism. And I'm going to go home and I'm going to think about that one student who vocalized criticism. Same thing. I'm doing the same thing here with my new job, right? Um, so I'm not going to do that because I know there are people out here who appreciate this content um, and who support me. Um, and so thank you guys. Uh, I don't have to worry about anybody who has anything to say, because I know what I, what I am striving to do. Um, so there's your soft, sentimental, petty conversation of the day. If you want to check out my Dinger Tuesday video, please do that. Um, good luck today with all of your wagers. Bet within your means, and I love you all. See you next time.